everybody. My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Bringing you one of my first double chem strikes that I ever got in Call of Duty Ghost. Now, this was probably like two months into the game or something like that. Just because for like the first month, month and a half of when Call of Duty Ghost was out, I was a competitive Call of Duty player is what I like to call myself. So I didn't really play too much pubs. I think it was a level 28 for a while, and then I eventually got in like a 10th prestige lobby and got me to where you see me in this gameplay. So I really didn't have that much time to go for double chem strikes or chem strikes at all in the first month, month and a half of Call of Duty Ghost. So this was one of my very first ones, so I guess that kind of explains kind of like the newbiness that you'll see. Like you'll see I'm kind of kind of sticking to the corners of the map trying to not rush around too much and die. So I don't know, kind of, kind of look at this gameplay and... Uh, I don't know, take notes on it and watch how I play and try and play like that if you haven't really played Call of Duty Ghosts that much or haven't gotten too many chem strikes. So that's kind of like the best tip I can give you is uh, watch the gameplay because in a lot of other my double chem strikes, you know, I'm flying around the map. I know where every single kid is, even if they're not showing up on the radar, just because I've played so much and I have that type of like map knowledge that allows me to run around with that confidence. But in this game, I didn't have that. And I'm sure a lot of you aren't where I am as far as like map awareness goes. So. Um, I don't know, kind of look at the gameplay and take notes on it and, you know, kind of apply it to your own gameplay style. If you're still trying to get your first chem strike or even you already have a few chem strikes and you just want like a double chem strike or a triple chem strike or something awesome like that. But I didn't want to waste this entire video just talking about some completely average pub stomping gameplay. I wanted to talk a little bit about Titanfall. And since I've played it for, I don't know, about six, seven hours now, I wanted to talk and kind of give my honest opinion on, on it and... Um, since I've played it for a few hours, I kind of have played it enough to know what I think about it, know how it plays, and kind of compare it to that of Call of Duty. So, let me start off by saying, when I first started playing this game, I was playing it like I was playing Call of Duty. What I mean by that is, kind of looking at the minimap, trying my best to stay alive, and trying to get a bunch of kills, and kind of leaving the objective play to my teammates, assuming that me getting all of these kills would be easy for my teammates to get an easy W. Um... So that's kind of what I went in playing with, playing like that, trying to stay alive, get as many kills as possible, and it only took me a few games to realize that getting a lot of kills is extremely difficult when over half the enemy team is in, inside of big, like, nearly invincible robots that can just shoot rockets at you and kill you instantly. So I quickly learned that any sort of kill streak, any sort of, um, you know, long life isn't really going to be an option so you know i kind of said f that i need to play the objective and i started playing the objective and kind of playing the game for what it was and because you can't really go for kills or go on kill streaks or stay along for a lifetime that makes the game completely different from call of duty you know there's obviously the fact that there's like titans running around the map and there's not titans in call of duty but the fact that in Titanfall, you are not rewarded whatsoever for kill streaks. Uh, keep in mind, I haven't played it that much, so if there is some sort of kill streak that um, I'm just not aware of, then feel free to correct me down in the comment section. But that you're not awarded for going on long kill streaks, and in Call of Duty, the, it, the game is pretty much completely based around going on big kill streaks. So I think for that reason, and that reason only makes these games two completely different games, and um, you know they won't really be in competition with each other. I think they'll pretty much have two completely separate audiences. One audience that's kind of more like a competitive audience that just wants to fight and fight for the W, like they do in Titanfall, or a group of people like myself that just likes to play and run around and have fun, get kills, and then maybe if they feel like it, go really try hard objective. Um, I do think Titanfall would be an extremely entertaining game to watch if it were to go on the MLG Pro Circuit or become a competitive game, but I think in order to do that, there'd need to be some sort of game mode or some sort of setting where you can disable Titans because I think watching like a domination match or hardpoint is what it's called in Titanfall with like Titans and it just be like four Titans versus four Titans. So I think if they could take out the Titans um, and have a playlist where it's only like pilot versus pilot, which is just what the individual players called without a Titan, they're called pilot so if it was just like pilot versus pilot i think that'd be really fun to watch um but then again that is the inner call of duty player in me i'm sure if titanfall came out before call of duty ever existed i'd be saying the same thing about call of duty you know why aren't there titans so i hope some of you guys followed this commentary i know it was extremely kind of confusing and i, I worded everything awfully so i do hope you guys enjoyed if you have played titanfall drop a comment down below letting me know what you think i do think that call of duty is um i'm not necessarily a better game but it's a better game for me you know they're both great games as far as like graphics and mechanics and how everything goes uh they're both great games but 
I find Call of Duty more enjoyable. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a like if you enjoyed and drop a comment down below. Uh, other than that, have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out.